Christmas is almost here. Santa is readying his sleigh. The elves have loaded the presents. Cookies and milk are being placed out in living rooms across the world. Merry Christmas, everybody. We are giving you a little Christmas gift here at the Tasteless Podcast. This is a free uh, episode of the After Show. We record this every show um, right when we finish with our guests. We go into the After Show. And this is usually a little bit more of a laid back, uh, cool, off the cuff uh, conversation. Uh, sometimes I think these are actually better than our regular podcast. The one we're giving you guys is one of my favorites. It's of Nathanius. I recorded this during the WCS pre-week. That was right before, I guess about a week before we went to California for BlizzCon. So some parts of the conversation are a little bit old, although I think most of it's not a particularly time-relevant conversation. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. If you become a Patreon supporter, you can have access to not just all of our old after shows, but every after show that comes out, same time as the podcast normally comes out. Uh, not for this one, obviously, since this is just an after show in of itself. Um, you can go to patreon.com forward slash tasteless podcast. A few dollars goes a long way to help improve this show. We're getting ready to step into video production soon. And of course, uh, making this is not free. So uh, if you want to support us, we are trying to give something back, uh, something a little bit extra. And since we are in the season spirit, we wanted to give everybody out there a taste of what the after show was. So here we go. This is the after show with Nathanius, again, recorded a week before BlizzCon. Enjoy and Merry Christmas. Okay, so now we just record for a little bit longer. This is extra content. Dope. For the uh, after show. How did that go? How did you feel? That was fun. Yeah. That's cool. You're good. You're like the best at this. Do you think so? Yeah. Oh, you're just, you're, actually, you're, actually you're like a natural. I'm yeah. just chilling. I was taking pictures the entire time. He never made eye contact with the camera. Well, dude. He just knows what's happening. He's so yeah, cool with it. Yeah, Ryan's you never, saying that. You so never cool. look at the camera. Yeah, when when Ryan was fixing the knobs, you don't break character at all. No. I think a lot no. of people, if Ryan's walking around doing stuff, people are like, what? what? Well, you've was, seen, I mean, yeah. you've, you've, well, you've worked on this. an actual set. I'm saying you've been doing this longer than I have. You know, you know how bad some of these like sets we can be in, man. Dude, I've casted where like, there's actually literally somebody under the table plugging and unplugging <laughs> shit. Oh, I'm, I'm going to act like I have, yeah, everything's fine, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that was, uh, you know, that's like, uh, what was it that great red eye moment came out as well from like that. Oh, that where guy the guy ran in front of the camera. He goes, he goes, what an idiot. What and then the guy comes idiot. back. He's on camera. And he's and I'm as like, cool as a cucumber. He's like, we're moving this show along. We're good. He's like, I'm not. Nothing's gonna stop me from hosting this damn StarCraft tournament. Yeah, man. Now that this this went really well, dude. This is uh, this is fun to do. I really I find this really cathartic, and I don't know. It's just it's nice. It's this also nice. really nice. I gotta do one with uh, Claire's coming up here, dude. We lost his episode. Ooh. He was out here for PUBG, and I did this really good episode with him. He was, also, it, was he, it really good? You can be honest. It with was me. Nathanius levels of good. Okay, okay, okay. It was. It was. You could say three, just below Nathanius. Three fourths of a Nathanius okay. podcast. Um, Did you slip him a shot before the podcast? No, oh. I, I try to. I usually try to give people alcohol when I do this because I find it loosens them up. But we've got we've got a meeting and a rehearsal, so I figure yeah, it's probably not yeah, best yeah. if we show up buzz. I was like, I was like, do I want to take <laughs> the eleven dollar Asahi out of the mini bar? No, nah, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, no, we lost his, and I lost Chobros. Damn. And like I already announced that I was coming out too, and it, I'm so, I'm so nervous to even see him because like it's such a bad fuck up on our end that we lost the episodes, and it's like such a colossal waste of his time. See, that's <laughs> where you gotta be like, if, if only we had contacts with like the FBI or NSA agents monitoring us and be like, you guys got all that right, <laughs> You're right? You guys definitely have this somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited to see how this meeting's gonna go. With okay. the Afrika staff can, can be, and the Blizzard can, staff and the casters. Because can, can I be real though? Because we're gonna we're gonna be there. Our meeting is at like X time, and then there's dinner and then rehearsals. And you know how this fucking goes, man. Well, here's the thing: we're it's, just gonna uh, end up uh, sitting there for like three hours. No, Afrika TV is usually really good about this. Okay, because they're. I don't know why this is with other companies, especially like ESL, where it just takes a thousand fucking years for us to then test the mics and then we get to leave. But um, there, everything's already hooked up. So and and they're is this actually, possible? I, in Korea, they don't usually make you wait around, especially not at this company. So okay. I don't think we need to to worry. I'm excited. 
Uh, yeah. How's I, the catering, by the way? Do they do that normally? No, they don't do catering here. Okay. So what's what's the expectation for dinner then? What are you thinking? What do you think, think they're going to have for us? I don't believe that this is an Afrika TV dinner. I think this is so because it, it's a couple different companies, right? Because okay. we're we're all contractors, right? Afrika TV uh, operates a, a lot of these Korean studios operate a little bit differently because it's just like their office is above the studio, right. so everything's always plugged in. There's not a lot of equipment being moved around. Um, but uh, I believe the dinner is a Blizzard thing. Okay, because if I, there's I, an after party, that the this, schedule for us was like, were you supposed to eat and then do rehearsals? Which always makes me nervous because I'm like, I'd rather just do rehearsals, get out of the way, and then go eat somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know why we're doing that like that. It's also yeah. very odd that we're doing rehearsals at night. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm just like, just to give some context. So this goes out by the way to like a hundred people. These are the people that actually pay. These are the real heroes. The real <laughs> you get to listen to this. Real American <laughs> heroes. <laughs> um, basically, uh, historically, I should say, esports events would have us show up. And we would sit around doing nothing for 10 hours. Yeah. And they wouldn't let us leave. And all we need to do basically is a mic test. And usually do a run of the show. But uh, there were periods where I'd get to an event three days early. And they'd have me in the convention hall all three of those days. And I had not done anything. <laughs> and I'm jet lagged. And I'm in a, a, a essentially a convention center. So yeah. there's no sunlight. And I'm tired. And the food And there's tons of people. Sucks. And lots of people that smell. And it's yeah, all. And it just, uh, uh, um, this should be pretty smooth. Okay. Yeah. I'm but ex- I think excited. we're all going to have to be this is but the thing is the Korea part. We got to be nice and quiet during this meeting that's probably going to be unnecessary, but they feel Oh, like we got to have manners. We got to have man- well, it was a disaster last time and last time Roddy was like watching a YouTube video like oh. the, I, to, I was like Roddy put that dude. Dude, this is looking really bad, you know, like um but uh I think it's going to be okay this time. We will see. It should be fine though. The, the thing about Africa TV, unlike other uh, production companies, is there's almost no hiccups once the show starts. They just... I think expectations, at least from my perspective, for Korean production have always been like super high. Like Everything runs pretty smoothly. Everything's very automated. Like I'm not even, for the most time, they, most do, of the time getting cued. You know? They don't end up swapping the people that... Like the individual people that work on your show. Like it's a lot of the... Is it a lot of like the same people between shows? Like people who know what they're doing, who have worked on that it's show It's all before? the same people. Yeah, yeah it's... That's Which, why if you ever see like something happen and me and Dan go on camera, I, I, I'm genuinely surprised. Like I'm dumbfounded. Like how the we actually yeah. have a technical problem? This almost never happens anymore. So yeah. it should be fine. They're a little bit more nervous about the fact that um, there's an analyst desk, which they've never done before. Oh, yeah. We're doing like the couch thing. They're just, yeah. So they're, they're and they're also, I think, probably slightly nervous that Calaris oh, doesn't yeah. speak Korean. <laughs> that and, could and be that an issue. They don't. But the thing is, it should be pretty easy. I think Calaris is, is, even if you don't know what he's saying, you know when he's going to be done talking. Like his body language, he looks in the camera. Same for you when you did hosting. It's like, yeah. yeah. I think if they're paying attention, it should be fine. But I think there's also the kind of weirdness of their blizzards here. Right. right? And so there's, then, a, there's like a heightened level. Of... Like when Mike Morheim would come to the studio, I'd be like, oh my God, he's here. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh my God, this is the CEO of the company that funds our show. Yeah, he, he's got yeah. he's got like the AOE effect on everybody. He's like, I'm here. Everyone want you. You, you want to right. perform better. You're a little bit more nervous. Yeah. 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 Oh man, oh, that was like they made me do that segment that year I hosted BlizzCon. They, yeah. They want like the Olympic segment, and that was the most fucking nervous I've ever been for any broadcast segment of anything I've ever done. Because yeah. like, because the whole thing was completely scripted. It was like me, Mike, like the head of gaming at Intel and Carmack, and I'm like. Okay, I'm kind of like almost a little ish on the level of Carmack, yeah. like I kind of there, but they're like, yeah, this script has me open with being like, hey, Mike, and I'm like, I would never address yeah. Mr. Morheim this way. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so I sit down for this segment, and like Mike Morheim is right next to me, and then it's the other two, and I'm just like, I don't. They're like, yeah, Nate, this segment's gonna be super easy. Just read the teleprompter, right? We have like these questions about the Olympic event. Let them answer one question each, and then we're gonna throw back and we're gonna get to yeah. the finals. And I sweat through my suit. Like, I could feel it <laughs> in the chair through my yeah. suit. I was so insanely nervous. I'm just like, so, hey, Mike, how's the things going with the Olympics with StarCraft? It was like, but those, but I, yeah, I, I totally get that. So, oh. Some people have such an empowering presence, either out of respect for them or nerves of fucking up around them. Have you ever been, have you ever had somebody be nervous around you? 
I guess I like I've met some like fans that like aren't like a little like, bit wiggly, like super social, right? They're like yeah. they're like, oh yeah, like oh it's really nice to meet you. Like I don't want to bother you, and I'm like, it's totally you're good, man. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. I got nervous the first time I met Mike Morham too. It's like it suddenly registered to me that there was one person in charge of the company. I'm like, if this and like, I'm like, I hope he likes my stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah. If this guy wants my head, I'm like, what if he's seen my stream? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about how no one on the Blizzard team plays Terran. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mike plays Terran. Damn it. <laughs> Knowing him, he probably did uh, watch your stream. It's he, he, from the times I've talked to him, seems to be... Well, when he was at Blizzard, aware of everything that was happening everywhere all the time. And that makes me very sad yeah. about my actions in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you're all right, Dan. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry, man. I uh I yeah, I think I think it was probably fine, but I, I totally empathize with you like having to go on stage and introduce him and call him Hey Mike. <laughs> yeah. and, like, there's uh, no universe where I would ever address someone I respect like that. Yo, you speak a little bit of Korean, right? I took. Are you studied it? I took a semester in school. I took like two semesters in college. Oh, okay, that might Bef serve you well. Before I had, before I had to go. Yeah. You should try speaking some Korean to the Africa TV staff people. They'll probably, they'll really like that. So just walk up. Yo, je chingo isto yo. Do you have a girlfriend? I guess what you said it would say I have well, a girlfriend. Well, I would say I would be like uh, nam je chingo isto yo. Right. That's that's how that's what that's I right. would ask. That's right. But. That's a, Those are the important boyfriend. things yeah. that I learned in my Korean class. Oh, Nate, um, you're gonna do just fine out here. Oh, oh, wait, I can use this one today. Pankap sunida. Pankap sunida. Yeah, nice sunida. to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And uh, shit. Yeah, been a while. <laughs> it's been a. It's been. It's been a minute, man. Let me see how we're doing on time here. This we're after party. We're, are our audio levels okay? Everything was, great. Everything was good. Yeah. This hotel room's so fucking cool, man. This is, a, this is a nice, nice hotel they got us in. Yeah, I was telling Nate when you were in the bathroom, it's like actually so nice to record in here. Like it's quiet. Yeah. We're on the 17th floor. Yeah, we're on. The cars or anything. Yeah, we're on floor 17. This I'm place. Like this is so weird because I walk by this hotel every day. By the way, just to explain to people listening, uh, Blizzard got me a hotel room because the other cashers got a hotel room. Dan, Dan said he didn't need it, but I'm like, oh no, I'm going to get a hotel room right by the studio. That's but you cool. can just walk to work now. Yeah, I just yeah. walk in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. Yeah, like, I walk by here every day. I've never been in one of the hotel rooms. This place is so nice. Yeah, it was the first thing I said when I came in, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the John Wick Hotel right here. Yep. This is where all the assassins in Korea come to hang out where they're not allowed to kill each other. I'm like, this is, <laughs> like that's, that's this place. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if people were paying for shit in gold coins here. Dude, they got a sauna here. Have you been to a Korean sauna? I have not. You got to get naked, though. You got to show taste with your penis. If you're going to go to that Korean sauna, Nate... <laughs> Are you? <laughs> that's how this works out here. I'm not but, shy, Nick. You're not shy. I'm not shy. I've, I've, I go to the sauna in Korea once or twice a week, so I'm totally desensitized to it. I'd honestly be more embarrassed about my belly, but around you, I don't have to. So. Don't worry, man. I We're look, on the same page. There. I look my body when it's naked, <laughs> Nate. It looks like rotten fruit, man. If you saw my naked body in the fridge, you'd know you'd have to throw it out. Um, this is. Uh, you should come to the sauna with me, man. It's good. We go to like the steam room. Sweat it out, and then we go to the, these cold tubs and hop in. Maybe I've been like an I. This this place was weird. The pool is really shallow. It's like a it's like a like a training swimming pool, and I was like, that's kind of what I wanted to do, but it's like three feet deep or some shit. It's very weird. Oh yeah, I've been to some yeah. pools out here, and they they tend to not let yeah. them go that deep. Yeah, the gym here, by the way, is, was also just like a it's like some weird dystopian thing. Everyone's got like the hotel uniforms on that they they like have here. Oh yeah, they like, give, a lot of gyms here give you clothes to wear. And yeah. Then you, well, it's yeah. just oh, it's just weird, and it's just a bunch of like a lot of older Korean people with like all the machines set to like the minimum weight, and they're like very slowly walking on the treadmill. I'm like, yeah, I'm like Koreans feels weird. are not. Uh, you, you generally don't see people in the gym trying to get swole. Like they just do it for the the fitness yeah. aspect. You know, when you go to an American gym, you'll see just like I assume that a lot of these people have to be on steroids, but just guys with like. <laughs> muscles on their muscles they look like action like like like, yeah. like avengers uh, superheroes <laughs> yes. with their bodies you know yeah chris evans guys just just everywhere <laughs> yeah yeah but out here it, it seems like it's not as much of a thing to try to get jacked out here someone gave me a look because i i didn't set the weight high i was like all right well i don't want to make it like noise because i'm like yeah. all right this everyone seems to be very chill here so i was like well first i was like okay well 
this machine is like an arm thing. I can set to like 50 pounds. That's fine. Very quickly remembered, shit ain't in pounds in this country. So I was oh, like, right. I was like, yeah. oh, this is heavy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, okay. So I was like, we'll do 25 kilograms. I'm yeah. like, that should be fine. I'm like, I'm getting like a good sweat going. I'm like, I'm making sure not to grunt, make noise. I'm just like, I'm, like, I'm starting to breathe, you know? I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'm exercising. And someone just like shoots me this glance where I'm like, and I'm like, am I being too loud for the Korean gym? I'm like, shit, man. Yeah, it's some gyms they don't want you to be loud in. I got. I was just breathing. I was just like, it wasn't even like I was like, Ugh, I wasn't grunting or anything. I did. But I, I still felt self conscious. What a weird feeling. I did bench. This is my first year out here. I did bench and I was like going like, ah, you know, and you're mm -hmm. pumping it up. And I got done and this guy came over and yelled at me and I didn't speak any Korean at that time, so I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> you're just like, thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, man. Yeah, there's a bunch of good food places we can go to around here. You yeah, basically don't have to go too far from where the hotel is. Everything's right around here. No. I want to show you my neighborhood, but it's about 40 minutes away. I, mean, I was just like, not sure what time. I guess it all comes down to like time, right? Because our show, we go live at noon, right? Yeah. Noon Korean time. So it's four best of fives for the first day, correct? I think so. We're just doing one group a day. Yeah, yeah. right. That's Yeah, that's literally. Yeah. So it's the same thing every day. So this doesn't get shorter as we get to the end. A Freaky TV is pretty efficient. Um. I imagine that will actually go pretty quickly. I guess Maybe it de not. depends on matchups, right? It depends on matchups. If we get a TVZ, there's a chance that we just get boned. Uh, yeah. Some of those TVZs just some of them go very long. Go very long. Amaru versus Serral could go very long. Uh, certainly, we get to the late game with infestors and ghosts and stuff. Um, I don't know, it, but th there, there's the possibility that it, 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 we would get done at like five, for instance. It just depends. You know, let's say we have. Uh, just a couple three O's. Maybe we have time. I can take you across town. That sounds good. If, if, if not, I mean, everything is also here too. Yeah. I was going to say my thing Sunday when we're done. Yeah. My flight is at three o'clock on Monday and I am motivated to stay up very late on Sunday night because I watch American football. Okay. And my freaking garbage New York Jets game is on at 2 a.m. on Monday Korea time. Oh, you perfect. guys can't watch football out here. It's impossible. It's on no, it's a two in the easy. morning. Yeah, yeah. No, you so, got to be diehard. There's a couple bars out here you can go to. That you think so? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm almost positive. Damn. There's a expat district around here, and um, it's an area called Itaewon. But anything that you can't get in Korea, you just go there and they have it. Well, and so there might be a sports bar. We could check online, but there's probably a place that opens up. We finish up. You want to paint the town red till two in the fucking morning? I'm down. Well, things don't close out here, so we can stay out as late as we want. You can get Korean barbecue at like six a.m. Like there's places that just don't close. God, I love this country. So it's uh, it's very easy to just. Yeah, I would imagine in Etam, there has to be a place. Easily, now that you, right? yeah, now right, you right. say that, I'm like, yes, uh, yes, of course, there should be. There's, I'm like, it's like I'm the like, third there's biggest bars. city in the world. Like, there's yeah. just, there's got to be a place that yeah. would be covering the. Yeah. I would imagine. Even Sean in like my neighborhood, when when Apollo was living uh, <coughs> in my area of LA, yeah. he found a British pub that opened at four in the morning and served booze just to show fucking soccer games. Damn. They're like, yeah, and you go, they'd be like, yeah, it's packed. It's like all the British people that live in this city just go there to watch. MLS or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, there's a demand for it. There's just enough yeah. people that you hit this niche market. And yeah, I, so I, I think we can find something for you. I don't think that'll be that difficult. Yeah. And then I don't, I don't know if Blizzard's bought my ticket yet, but I should be on the same flight as Dan, I imagine. I'm nice. always bad at answering those emails, man. <laughs> I've just come to this conclusion. I don't want to do email anymore. You know... Email is fucking dumb. Okay, so this, this, is, this, is, for the, this is for the super esports e heroes, right? Yeah. Okay. So I will I will tell you something that I thought was hilarious. Kevin Rotterdam is yes. very much so the same way. He's terrible about getting paperwork and stuff done. Yeah, I'm the same same way. <laughs> you know you know Uni, his girlfriend. Yeah. She asked me what our itinerary and schedule was, so that she could try <laughs> to make plans for this week while we're here. And then <laughs> his girlfriend so asked me. She's like, I'm like I'm like, can, can you just ask Kevin? He got an email, and she's like, Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I, I am. I am. As I'm getting older and trying to sort out what I want and what I don't want in my life, I just don't want to do emails anymore. I just I've, I've looked at email. Just text me. It's so much easier. It's so much easier to just text me. Yeah. I don't even like that we're all having to communicate on Discord. I'm like, just just text me on. 
Yeah. Like the, we have a WhatsApp group for this. Did you block it? I don't know. Am I in the one? What if I find out I'm not in the group? We got to take you zoomed in pictures. Like, we got to oh! take zoomed in pictures of each other's faces, Nick. <laughs> I love our group chats. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm in there. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh, wow. There's a lot of people talking here. Okay. Got it. Yeah, but <laughs> but like if it's an email, I don't know. The whole format, that's like they wrote me a letter and then I, I used to feel like I had to email everybody back and then I find the whole conversation becomes meaningless. Now, even if I have to email somebody back, it's like a sentence or a or word. Or you like forget to like BCC or there's like I've another, had... or there's multiple people. Yeah, they don't hit reply oh. all. And they're like, oh, actually you sent that to the wrong person. You have to I... press reply all. And then you do that to that email, but the person's not on it anymore. So you still fucked it up. I don't, I don't even, yeah, this, no, this is just a just... stupid way to communicate. No. Like a, a freaking TV. It's only texts. They just, they, they just text me everything. I don't, I don't. It's easy. It's easy. Unless it's a like a, a, a document that I would need to print out, then it's an email. But otherwise, it's just no. And I love it. It's, it's yeah. so much better than, I don't know, just. I like the I like the Discord stuff. I'm like. Blizzard oh. still uses email a lot. Yeah. Occasionally, they'll be like, well, well, we emailed glad. you about that. I'm like, exactly. You emailed me. I'm not going to see that. <laughs> I'm so glad we got off Skype, both, by the way, because fuck oh, that. Oh, fuck Skype. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I lost so many contacts when I deleted Skype. I don't miss it at no, all. No, I don't care. I, I could mess. You could message from like three weeks uh, later because it didn't go through. It's so <laughs> yeah, buggy. It's yeah. so it's so bad. That yeah. was like back when people had to get you know on horses to get I around had, and stuff. Is Skype? I had an event or like some company wanted to hire me for an event, and they're like, "Yeah, um, we're going to be communicating through Skype." And I just straight up told them, "No." I was like, "No." So right, I'm like, right. That, that, that light is blinding me, buddy. Sir, I'm like, I'm like, whoever. Whoever is on this, get Discord. Here's my Discord handle. You can message yeah. me with this. I'm like, I'm not using Skype. They're like, this is our this is our thing. I'm like, no. If you want me to do your event, I'm not fucking using Skype. Yeah, no, I, 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 I've deleted it. Out here, everybody uses Kakao, which I don't oh, know. Well, that's kind of like a cool thing. I've, I've played with that. Yeah, yeah. You should get it on your phone. If you ever need to text me, like if you text me, I will always see the text the moment I pick up my phone. Yeah. I basically just said, if you want to get a hold of me, everybody in Korea uses Kakao. Just I used that to talk to my StarCraft clan when I was taking my Korean classes. Oh, really? Yeah. I was in this Korean clan. That's how I got my Year of the Snake portrait that nobody fucking has in America. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. I think they're texting me. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry. Just something. But there it is. See, Africa just texts me. Nice. I immediately can get back to them whenever I need to. Have you seen any good shows lately? Good shows? So I all I did was watch shows when my hands were fucked up. So I just was constantly consuming TV. So recently, um, no, I haven't seen anything. Uh, I've just been playing games, I guess. But let me think here. What something recent? Uh, Chernobyl was quite good. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I don't know. I mean, Game of Thrones fucked up, and I just sort uh, of I lost faith in, in in in. Well, I mean, this is a, we're at this point in time where, um, all fiction is getting fucked up. Yeah. Star Wars is not good anymore. Nope. Uh, they they screwed up Game of Thrones, which I actually didn't think they would be capable of fucking that up as bad as they did. Like, they fucked that up so bad, it's like, what? Are these even the same people nope. that, that were making it from before? This doesn't make any sense. Um, Game of Thrones was such a heartbreaker for me that I think it almost repelled me from watching TV for a little bit. Yeah. I mean, the, the only thing I could think of recently that really was long but wrapped up well it was probably breaking bad oh yeah, that's um, just good but yeah a lot of shows that when they get to like a couple seasons in things start to fall apart um i don't i'm not into the marvel movies um there's too many of them and they're too formulaic for me i, I did just see joker okay i heard that was good oh you haven't seen it yet i haven't made the time it's good dude. i, I want to see it i just it's I've really just good been doing yeah yeah it's uh the media is are such garbage for talking about how this was going to cause a shooting. There's, there's They're so fucked up. You no, know, as as much as I, as much as I, I would say that I probably fall in like the you know like I want I'm a pretty progressive guy like I want things you know things to change etc. I'm like, there was a lot of people like really pushing like please turn this movie to like our champion for like basement dwelling like psychopaths and I was like yeah it's so weird too because like nobody says this about John Wick. No, where he literally shoots up it's the got, ton like, of the people. highest body count of like almost any movie ever. Yeah, and it, it, it's just so odd. There's always a movie 
that comes out that people think, oh, this is the one that's going to turn people bad yeah. or something. It's so odd. Yeah. White and, guy kills hundreds of people in an hour and a half. I'm like, people are like, that's what Joker's going to be. I'm like, okay, look, there's movies we like that are like that. That are literally, that don't, literally exactly liter that. John Wick is literally a guy dancing around killing people in a hundred different ways on yeah. screen. I'm just, I'm fascinated in this new form of media that is almost intentionally stupid or deliberately stupid. Yeah. Well, it's like, like reactionary like, bait shit. Yeah, this clickbaity, like, we can't let, uh, there's going to be a, sh it's, it's, it's so obvious that the media plays such a role, for instance, in shootings and in, 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 in yeah. uh, a vi it, it, I just, I'm, I'm dumbfounded that editors are even okay in these pieces. I guess it's because nobody's making money in journalism anymore, and so they need clickbaity stuff, but like, that is so inappropriate to take this movie, which most of these people haven't seen, and just decide that, yeah. that it's not even safe before, to go to the theater. You yeah, know? even before like the pre, even before the pre-screening stuff, just like trying to drum up this thing just to stir shit so that people will go to their garbage dying website and like fight them in the comments section. I'm like, okay, congratulations, this is the pinnacle of your company now. Yeah, it's just trying to bait bored people on the internet into telling you you're dumb. Yeah, it's so weird. Um, but definitely see Joker. It yeah. was really, really good. The acting is, is incredible. I, I heard it was really good. I got a, Todd got me in the last month onto uh, The Boys. Which oh, yeah. Was, I saw the first episode of that. Yeah. It was, it's quite weird. It's basically the super mature look at like a dystopian superhero future. It is apparently also a comic as well. Yes. Which I didn't realize. Um, yeah, no, The Boys, I didn't end up finishing it. But I, like I said, I've just been kind of busy right. and just gaming right. after not being able to play any games at all. Yeah. Like, it's what, good. what have you been playing, Nick? I've been playing a lot of StarCraft Remastered. Jake was teaching me uh, more StarCraft 2 because I didn't get to play all the way through Legacy 2. My right. hand's been fucked up that entire time. Um, but I, I'm it's more emphasis on StarCraft Remastered right now. I beat uh, Dark Souls Remastered. Nice. Um, what else did I do? Wait a minute. There has to be other games. Beat some co-op games with my girlfriend. Um, Deadlight, some random side-scroller that I had downloaded a while ago. Um and then I, uh, I'm i going to get ready for that Death Stranding game. November 8th, man. It's coming, I bro. I can't wait. I'm a Hideo Kojima fanboy. Dude. It's going to be fucking dope. We're cut from the, we're cut from the same cloth. That's right. <laughs> you and I, man. <laughs> Meryl. <laughs> what is this? Snake voices. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Liquid Snake. I'm dummy thick. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened with Raiden's voice in the second one, too? Uh, yeah, what the fuck happened there? He's the same guy who did the voice acting for Cloud in Final Fantasy. That's just all the fun. That's or not, not all Cloud, the, Titus, excuse me. That's just all the insane shit. I just can't wait to see what... I mean, I mean Death Stranding for Kojima is, is basically like one of those really like sexually repressed like religious people, and then they finally let it all out, and you're like, they've got some dark shit in there. I'm like, yeah. Kojima's been like, he's only been allowed to do Metal Gear for like his whole life, basically. <laughs> he's like, I'm free! <laughs> and it's like I'm, people are going into this who are like oh yeah this game looks big cool hype yeah Norman Reed is cool but I'm like but do you know what you're getting into with Kojima yeah that, that's like, the thing is, uh, this game's this not is going like, to make sense I hope you one, understand that one of that. the great storytellers <laughs> of our time is Hideo Kojima I, people because there's people that played through the Metal Gears and then the people that didn't those are the two types of people in this world yeah Nathanius and the people that played through Metal Gear they know they know that Hideo Kojima is I mean this is on par with like Game of Thrones storytelling, yeah. Uh, so I, I, without the fucking bad ending. So I'm very <laughs> curious. I'm very curious to see what he's going to do here. It seems like he's got a lot more freedom. Yeah, uh, he's kind of able to just do what he wants to do. Uh, people are concerned about the way the game looks because it seems to be kind of this game where you roam around in these open environments, and I don't know. I think it's probably going to be very similar to Metal Gear Solid Five. He's probably going to do it in five, what he didn't get afforded the time to do. Yeah. In, I, I, I think, yeah. I think given the circumstances of it compared to like what caused the problems with like Metal Gear Solid five for it to not be finished and whatnot, like he was given a blank check to do whatever he needed to do. So he had as many people I imagine as he thought he needed or he wanted to have work on it. So whatever it is, I'm expecting it to just be like the extreme limit of of whatever he's going to do because i imagine whatever comes next is not going to be as extreme yeah i mean kojima you never know right but right. like this this is like his first 
thing that isn't Metal Gear. So I expect a lot of people to, I don't know. I actually kind of think like the, the response is going to be a bit mixed just because people like not really like understanding like what they're getting into and being like, well, this doesn't make sense. Like this is never resolved. It's like, no, that's, that's Kojima. Like there are a lot of threads where it's just, you are left to think about it. You know, like, yeah. he leaves a lot of the decisions on like, oh, was it this? What was, was this a good thing or a bad thing? He leaves a lot of that on the player. Yeah. Like there's, he, he's not going to wrap everything up in a bow. And I'm like, people who weren't into Metal Gear who are getting hyped for Dead Stranding, like get into that. I'm expecting some people to just be like, what the fuck? This didn't make any sense. I'm like, well, you kind of missed the point at that point, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm super excited for it. That's going to be what I do when I come back. Oh yeah. The soul is... That's why I'm like, I'm glad. I'm like, all right. Close the blinds. Get through BlizzCon. Turn off the lights. Shit's and... over. I'm like, that's it. I'm getting so many fucking snack foods locked. I'm barricading myself that's in right. my room. Yeah. And I'm going to just, I'm just going to play Death Stranding forever. I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to wrap this one up. This was actually a great uh, post show. This is excellent. Dope. Good job, everybody. Great job, All team. right, guys. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this, tell your friends to support us on Patreon. Love you guys. Um, bye-bye. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Uh, of the after show with Nathanius. I'm really enjoying doing these. Again, if you want to get more access to podcasts like that, along with our already main show, just go to patreon.com forward slash tasteless podcast. We're also looking into the new year for other ways we can give back to you guys for those of you who support the show. Also, New Year's is coming up. Do you have a New Year's resolution ready? What's it going to be? Oh, I do not have one. You put me on the spot. You don't have a New Year's resolution? I don't. No, not yet. I'm not a big resolution guy, man. <laughs> I am going to try to get S rank on StarCraft Remastered Ladder. I bet you could probably do that. I don't know, man. I'm pretty fucking bad. <laughs> um, maybe try going to the gym. Is that That's what everybody does. That's what everybody does. There's nothing wrong with Sam when I go to the gym, though. <laughs> um, you have no New Year's resolution? I, not, I, I'm not much of a resolution guy, man. Like, if I, if I want to do something, I'm just going to do it. I don't need a resolve to do it. What a God damn it. Year. Jesus, I'm such a Ryan. Grinch, right? I know. You're like, well, why would I need to do that? I'm already motivated all the time. <laughs> all right, guys, you could try losing weight. You could try mm, making it out to the GSL studio. Wow. You could say, I'm going to support the Tasteless Podcast for an entire year. There's so <laughs> many different... That's a good resolution. That's right a great there. one, too. It's up to you. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy your holidays. Let's all start the new year off with um, with a lot of kick-ass. Let's all be good to each other for the New Year's. Um, that does it for the podcast, guys. Please get out there, spread the word, give us a good review. That actually goes a long way in helping us with the algorithms out there. Um, and if you can, if you've got the money, it's really appreciated. Patreon.com forward slash tasteless podcast. That money goes to help produce this show and make it better. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. <laughs>